Okay, here we have a fraction as a percent. Lesson 25, we're getting to the end of the module here. Um, so here we have um, some examples. Um, I've got three green squares, two red squares. So my part to part ratio is three to two or two to three. You can flip them as long as you understand your order. So it's three green to two red or two red to three green, or you could do it as whole to part. So it's actually five total to three green or five total to two red, or you can flip those. You can do two red to five, or you can do three green to five. So you can flip those numbers around. So let's look at writing, taking these ratios and finding the percent, which we practice in our spiral math. So um, it says that we want, we have three green to two red. So what percent of this is green. How do we know what percentage of this is green? So we basically write our ratio of part to total. So three out of five, okay, are green. We want that total as the bottom number because we're gonna look for the percent and we wanna know what part of the whole is the percent. So that's why when we take this ratio whole to part, and we make sure the whole is on the bottom and the part is on the top, okay? That's kind of an important piece to, to write your ratio that way. So to find a percent, you put the part on the top, the whole on the bottom, and then you write your whole part of your, fra your percent fraction on the bottom, which is 100, it's always 100, and your X on the top. Because that's the part we're trying to figure out. What percent is green? And what percent is red? So you would do the same thing, okay? You would do two over five. So here's a little bit of math that I did. So we have this, we're like, okay, so if we're trying to figure out what percent is green. We write that part to whole ratio, put it next to our part to our whole of our fraction, um, our percent fraction. And then we ask ourselves, well, what's the multiplicative relationship between our denominators? And then we can apply it to our numerators. So we say, well, what times five equals 100? If you don't know that it's 20, you can simply use division to figure out that multiplicative relationship. So you could simply divide 100 by five, and that will give you what you multiply by five to get 100, which as you can see, my long division here, and I have gotten 20. So I know I multiplied five by 20 to get 100. So that means I do the same thing to my three. If I multiply my three times 100, then I would get, I'll multiply my five times 20, then I would do my three times 20 and that would give me my percent. So that means, I wonder, did I have the answer down here? So that would mean X is equal to three times 20 is 60. So percent is 60% of this ratio is green. So let's look at the red one. So here, I have, I think I did all that work there. So if 60% is green, what's, it's pretty easy to figure out what is red. You don't, you could go through the process of doing the ratio, but I mean, if, if this is 100%, 60% is green, and then the rest is red, and the rest is 40%, because we're looking for the total would be 100%. So if 60% is green, then what's left out of 100% is 40%, so 40% is red. You can do all the math too, or you can just kind of use um, real realism, but just to show you that, so you know that um, two out of five is equal to x out of 100, you multiply this times 20, which we already figured out there. So you multiply this by 20, and x would give you that 40%. So to use the math, you could also 
go ahead and do all that math, or you could just say, well, if, if you figured out the percent of the green, then you could easily figure out what the rest of it would be the percent of the red. Okay, 100% is the whole thing. All right, I have some example problems for you to try. And obviously, um, just two. Oh, the green moved, but the white didn't move. So you have, this is three-fourths. I know it's written kind of funny, but hopefully you've listened to all my words. And this is eight-twentieths. So you're gonna figure out what is the percent of that fraction. So this is your part and this is your whole. So three is what percent of four? And then your this is your part and this is your whole. Eight is what percent of 20? So that's what we're trying to find. Find the percent. So that fraction is what percent of the whole? And we'll practice more in class.